One of the most upsetting errors in Steven Universe history ironically took place after the season 1 finale, because this was when Garnet's iconic song Stronger Than You landed on the internet. You what? The Undertale parody of Stronger Than You became so popular that millions of fans of the games genuinely began to think that the Steven Universe version was the parody. And it didn't really help that both of these songs were released on YouTube at around the same time to fan bases that were made up of mostly young children, including myself. You also have to take into consideration the insane fact that the Undertale versions of the song gained and still has more views than the Steven Universe version. And yes, I did mean to say Undertale versions there. This is the worst! So naturally, the fanbases were at war for a couple of months in the comment sections of all of these videos, with some people taking it more seriously than others. Way more seriously. I'm going to kill you. Calm down, son, it's just a drawing. Despite your thoughts on this odd piece of history, I'm bringing all of this up now to say that while Stronger Than You is still one of my favorite songs on the entire show, we've come such a long way since then that it's actually only my fifth favorite song to come out of the series. Climbing up the list, full disclosure being the song that made its debut directly after Stronger Than You was honestly much more impactful, and I'm not sure if this is a hot take at the moment, but I'm sure I'm about to find out. I'm going to Don't get me wrong, both of these songs were packed to the brim with emotion and deeper meaning for the Crystal Gems as a team, but one of them simply managed to pull this off much more effectively than the other. While Stronger Than You symbolized the beginning of a new era for Ruby and Sapphire's relationship within Garnet, full disclosure symbolized the ending of of an error for Steven. This song was our boy accepting his responsibilities as a crystal gem and learning that if he didn't start taking his journey seriously, the lives of everyone on the planet, especially those that he cares about most, would be put in grave danger. Is something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Next up, my third favorite song being Here Comes a Fort seriously needs no explanation, so I'm not going to give you one. Huh? <laughs> Pearl's character act through the series was nothing short of breathtaking, but I especially loved it when all of her trauma and feelings of abandonment came to the forefront during Mr. Greg. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. It's Over Isn't It is my second favorite Steven Universe song. The best part about rewatching the show is experiencing how different episodes like Rose's Scarbot and Mr. Greg feel with the added context of Pearl's history with Rose Quartz and by extension Pink Diamond of course. I still had chills while listening to It's Over Isn't It for the first time, but I was feeling something more after my hundredth time. I'm sorry you had to be around me. Dad! What can I say, Garnet's songs are peak, and that's why True Kinda Love became my new favorite Steven Universe song. It's genuinely perfect, from the lyrics to the music. My heart melts every time that the song gets to Steven's little section too. You know the, I'll do the hardest part with you. What? Y'all better not make fun of my singing, that was like my 20th tick. My $50 mic doesn't have a pop filter, okay, I'm trying my best here. This is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed! I can almost guarantee that all of your top 5 lists has a high likelihood of looking a little bit different when compared to mine, because there's hardly any songs to come out of a series that could even be considered average. But what if I told you that there's a Steven Universe song which was released years ago and yet no one's ever even heard it? Created by Rebecca Sugar herself, Steven Universe issue number 21 not only featured the first time that we'd ever see Peridot playing an instrument on her own, but as a byproduct of this, it also canonically blessed us with Peridot's second song in the series. The comic issue being set after the traumatizing event of Raising the Barn opens with Peridot introducing one of her favorite episodes of Campaigning Hearts to Steven and Pumpkin. Peridot explains that the episode resonated with her because it premiered with one of the most relatable songs in the series. The song in question, titled Alienated, was performed by Percy to express his feelings of grief and isolation from the other campers during the annual camp talent show. Percy's situation being incredibly similar to everything that Peridot went through on Earth during her redemption arc causes her to feel even more attached to Alienated, especially after rewatching the entire arc with her friends. This leads our girl Peridot to singing the song over and over again with Pumpkin while Steven was sound asleep, 
With Stephen and Pumpkin's blessings, Pirad continues to sing Alienated over the course of the entire morning. Eventually, Stephen being thoughtful offers to teach Peridot how to play an instrument that would complement her newly found passion for singing. Stephen and Peridot grabbing onto a sheet of paper and making their way upstairs in order for them to write down the chords to the song Alienated leads both of them to realizing fairly quickly that they'd need the help of someone with a bit more musical experience if they were hoping on actually being successful with their ambitious plans. Naturally, Stephen comes up with the idea of asking his father Greg, also known as a flightless human, to help them decipher all of the chords to the song Alienated. After Peridot helps Stephen to finish packing his cheeseburger backpack with all of the essential items that they need during their journey, the duo filled with hope leaves the temple in order for them to make their way to the car wash. Greg coincidentally taking some time off to practice playing his guitar, warmly greets Stephen and Peridot while gladly accepting their pleas for help. Without wasting any time, Greg plays the cassette tape featuring Alienated on his TV and flawlessly continues scripting on the chord sheet exactly where Steven left off. Steven mesmerized by Greg's seemingly endless amounts of musical knowledge and the team focused on finishing the chords to Alienated as accurately as possible decides to place Peridot on TV duty. After pouring all of their passion and effort into scripting for hours, Greg and Steven would proudly surprise Peridot with her completed chords to the song Alienated, causing her to awkwardly realize that she didn't know how to read a chord sheet. Greg seeing a ton of untapped musical potential within Peridot, awards her with her very own guitar before moving forward with teaching her how to read chord sheets with Steven assisting them during the process. Peridot enchanted by the realization that it would soon be possible for her to be able to fully perform her favorite song tries her best to learn how to play her new guitar by following Greg's and Steven's instructions. But this leads to disaster. Greg hands over a spec guitar pick to Peridot after her fingers begins getting sore from pressing against her new guitar strings. But not only would this gesture not help Peridot in the slightest, when Steven explains that they haven't even gotten halfway through her first lesson yet, she'd quit playing an instrument altogether. Greg intriguingly reveals that Steven also shared Peridot's deep frustration when it came to learning to play an instrument. Steven seeing his younger self within Peridot comforts her and the duo would find common ground before deciding to head back to the temple for the rest of the day. That night, Peridot being unable to fall asleep or simulate falling asleep, grabs her tablet and obsessively begins to listen to Alienated over and over again until she'd gained the inspiration needed to continue pursuing her dreams. Peridot filled with her deep and powerful motivation instantly wakes up Steven before letting him know that she was interested in continuing her guitar lessons with Greg. The following morning, Peridot and Steven, feeling rejuvenated, rushes to Greg and decide to pick up exactly where they all left off during the previous session, leading to Peridot having the exact same reaction. After several hours of pain, Peridot would finally be able to confidently sing the first few lines to the song Alienated while simultaneously playing the correct notes with her guitar. And although she'd be disappointed with her slow progress, Greg and Steven would make sure that Peridot knew just how admirable her progress has been so far. Steven Universe changed my life for the better in so many ways with its phenomenal music. I've listened to some of her show's songs hundreds of times at this point and I'm thankful that I don't feel alone on that decision anymore. <laughs>